CSR is an autonomous R&D organization with all uh, central government rules applicable and uh, NIRI is one of the 38 laboratories under CSIR. NIRI is, is a pioneer organization in environmental science and technology, R&D in environmental science and technology. NIRI provides the consultancy services in waste management, in environmental impact assessment, in environmental audit, any specific issues. NIRI also has a privilege of an apex body. All the high court issues or uh, green tribunal or uh, supreme court issues are referred to NIRI for having a neutral assessment and give the technical facts about the any litigations. So based on NIRI's findings, the decisions are taken by uh, the ju judiciary. But at Hyderabad, we have five zonal laboratories. Hyderabad is one of the zonal laboratories. Neri's headquarters is placed at Nagpur. You may be aware. Today's topic given to me is environmental impact assessment, environmental management plan. is a topic which Neri started even before the uh, regulatory requirement had come into picture, uh, come into existence in the country. What is environmental impact assessment is, is, a, is an anticipatory tool. It uh, teaches the discipline what has been talked in the earlier inaugural session by my predecessors is that what it can give a systematic approach for maintaining the self-discipline whether it will be a ourselves, individuals, our lifestyle starts from that root. From that root onwards to what we so call it as economic development, our, an individual, a human being, an individual, what shall be his lifestyle to have environment as a major concern in his life. Then the house, then the society, then the industry, then the government. So in between there is a region, your industrial estates, all those things will come up. So this gives a, an, a systematic approach and balanced way of development. It ensures environmental sustainability in the economic development process. The bare minimum requirement is to conform to the standards. When I say it is the self-disciplinary required, it is it's the commitment of the industry or as I told you at every stage there is a requirement of commitment towards environmental protection. If I say an example, our lifestyle had is causing so much of pollution, even um, individual human being is not free of pollution. He, he creates wastewater, he creates solid waste and our lifestyle has enhanced the generation of pollution. If I give a very small example, the water bottles what we are drinking, after drinking the water available in that uh, bottle, it becomes the solid waste. And it is also one of the dangerous solid waste is the plastic waste. So these things, how do we address our issues in our day-to-day -day lifestyle? The fast food centers providing lot of packaged foods it enhanced the solid waste generation in the urban lifestyle. Do you find that type of solid waste generation in rural areas in the village environment? It's very less. So what I mean to say is, is, is this a tool, environmental impact assessment, to analyze the situation and uh, enhance the environmental compatibility to certain extent if required shall be disciplined. And it gives, an, as it is being, has been mentioned by, I think, one of our, our earlier speakers, EIA is a mandatory requirement for getting environmental clearance. Yes, it is one of the value of environmental clearance. But my request to the participants, at whatever be the level you are, you please see that it is not mere getting the environmental clearance for a project. 